What does home mean to me? Ooh, that's a really good question. It's an old farmhouse. This part we were sat in now was a cow shed once. It's quite drafty. <laughs> It's full of fun, full of laughter, full of chaos. Basically, you're surrounded by Christmas trees and sheep. We'll come up with these crazy ideas, but they always seem to work. I think I've probably <laughs> left a clear stamp in most places. We're at Blackhouse Farm in Paris on the Shropshire Welsh border. The farm is around 450 acres, of which we've got now probably 200, 250 dedicated to Christmas trees. Sometimes when I see an advert in August and it says, mentions Christmas, I'm, it sends a shiver down my spine. I thought, oh, no, that's coming. I love Christmas. I have always loved Christmas. I am Christmas-tastic. Uh, yeah, I'd say I'm a Christmassy person. Uh, how can you not like Christmas, I suppose? Brucey! Christmas trees. This is the business end. This is the yard. And this is the business end for me. This is home. Come on, Bruce. A cup of tea and a biscuit. Cheers. I've got the queen one. <laughs> of course you have. <laughs> I'm the boss. One of the first things about your house is it's an emotional purchase. It's a hub. It's where everybody is. It's where everyone comes in crisis. It's where everyone comes to celebrate. It's not your traditional farmhouse with the four windows and little roses, you know, and the porch. It's not, it, it's unusual. When we moved in, parts of it had started to decay and fall down a little bit. And I thought, it's, it's like the house needs people. All the rooms hadn't been used because there was only one person here. Um, the floor fell in in one of the sections. It was a right mess. That sort of side of the house quite quickly and organically modified itself. I think that is an element of, of owning a home. It is somewhere you feel safe and relaxed and happy. And then I think because you're safe and relaxed and happy, you decorate it, you move it round, you change it, you live in it. It made it feel more like home by making some changes that are personal to me. There will be a bit of me for the next generation. So, in a way, it's quite fun, isn't it? It's like writing a cheeky message under your wallpaper or something, isn't it? Got four children, Charlie, Kate, Bill and Fred. The eldest is 26, the youngest is 18. You're custodians really more, aren't you? My children will want to do a completely different thing. I'm sure they will want to de-green everything in my kitchen because they all complain about it. But this is our moment to have it and to enjoy it and to love it. As you get older, you, you realise you can't buy time. That's what I was trying to do with the Christmas trees, was buy my free time. I don't look back and think, well, I wasn't there for the kids. I think we had a great time as a family. Yeah, that one needs pruning, that can't go this year. We adapted the home to save our home because traditionally it was a sheep and beef farm. Helen wasn't a traditional farmer's wife. She didn't want to come out and stand in gateways for me, so I had to adapt, probably for Helen and for the family. The fact that the house provides for us is brilliant. It has given me the opportunity to be at home when my children were small and I didn't want to miss anything. And also it's given me the opportunity to be in amongst everything that's going on. But look how small they were. This is the first week we moved in. Steve and I are together a lot, whereas if one or other of us left the home for work, um, then obviously we'd spend time apart, <laughs> which on some days would probably be a good thing. But um, on the whole, that's a joy. <laughs> we were always thinking about the Christmas tree season, but now, actually, I quite enjoy Christmas because it's finished. Even when it's miles away, everyone's planning for it, you know, and you're like, ah, oh, Christmas is soon, when really it's not, it's midsummer. I love it. I love the joy of it. I love that everybody else's mood is slightly better. From the phones ringing every five minutes, suddenly they stop. Everybody comes home, and I mean everybody. We've got girlfriends, we've got extra dogs. None of us have bought any Christmas presents, so that becomes a bit of a last-minute scramble. There's a lot of love in my home. 
all the things I love are here, all the people I love are here, all the stuff I've collected is here. It has given us all an opportunity to stay together and grow. And also it brings lots of new people, lots of new adventure to me, so I don't actually even have to go anywhere. <laughs>